An introduction to using Visual Analyst to create an ERD. Visible Analyst is a computer-aided software engineering, CASE, tool. A quick note, in January 2003, the Visible Developer Professional Edition was selling for $1,995, cheap. Among the models included are Functional Decomposition, Business Model Shows the business functions and processes they support in a hierarchical structure. Entity Relationship Diagram, Data Model Shows the data entities of an application and the relationship between the entities. Object Model, Object Class Model Shows classes of objects, subclasses, aggregations, and inheritance. Visible Analyst Models, Continued State Transition Model Real-time model shows object transition to and from various states and conditions and the events or triggers cause them to change between different states. Process model, data flow diagrams shows how things occur in the organization via a sequence of processes, actions, stores, inputs and outputs. Processes are decomposed into more detail, producing a layered hierarchical structure. Product model Structure chart shows a hierarchical, top down design map of how the application will be programmed, built, integrated, and tested. Visible analyst models continued. Use case model shows the relationship between a user and the information system. Activity model a special form of the state diagram representing the performance of actions or sub activities. Sequence model shows how objects collaborate in some behavior. Collaboration model shows an interaction organized around the objects in the interaction and their links to each other. Repository model, database project underscore. The Bible of Systems Analysis and Design. Open the Visible Analyst program. The first thing you will see is the startup menu. The next thing you will see is the main menu. To start a new project, select New Project from the File menu. When you do, another pop-up menu will appear. Click the OK button. You have now created a project called Medical which will be stored, in this case, at C colon backslash visible analyst backslash data. Once you have created a project, Visible Analyst, by default, assumes you will creating a new diagram. It just happens to be an ERD. Which is what we want? Click the OK button. You will now see the ERD drawing screen. Let's first add the Entity Physician. Click on the Entity button. When you do, your cursor will change. Move the cursor to some position on the screen, or keep it where it is. Then right click. Another pop-up menu will then appear asking you to name the entity, object, physician, label it physician, then press OK. You have now created the entity physician. Next, we need to change to the select mode. Next we right click on our entity physician. A pop-up menu will appear. Define, change item, stylize. Text settings, colors, cut, copy, delete, choose define. We are going to add attributes, before we can go any further, we need to save our diagram. Medical database, let's label our diagram as medical database, and then press OK. This will become part of the repository. A new pop-up menu will appear. This menu will first ask us for a description of the entity. Contains information about the physician employed by the hospital. Describe what the database is for. This will become part of the repository. Put in an appropriate description. We will talk about that later, maybe. Alias? We will talk about that later, maybe. Contains information about the physician employed by the hospital. 
to add an attribute, simply move your cursor to the Add field, and start typing in the field name. Fizzed. Char. No. As soon as you do, some default values come up. These values refer to the data type, the length, and whether or not a null value can be entered. Now add the attribute to the entity. We will first have to change the null, or missing, values, as necessary. Contains information about the physician employed by the hospital. In our case, we know that physic should be of length 9. Notes A great idea, put in thoughts about what this means. If it turns out to be wrong, you can change it later. Fizzed. Char. 9. No. This will be the primary key for the physician table. It will also be the foreign key in table patient. Now add the attribute to the entity. And the attribute has been added. For the time being, let's assume that this is the only attribute. Click on the exit button. A dialog box will remind to save our entry. Click yes. It may not look like we did anything, but we did. There are three ways of viewing the screen. The entity level, which we are in. The primary key level. The attribute level. To see the attribute added, click on the attribute level view. Notice that the entity, physician, and the one attribute we entered, phys ID, are displayed. While we are at it, let's look at the primary key level screen. Click on the primary key level button. Where is all the information? The primary key level screen shows only the entity name and the primary key. Define. Change item. Stylize. Text settings. Colors. Cut. Copy. Delete. We didn't designate a primary key. Let's make Fizz ID the primary key. Once again. Right click on the entity, and again, choose define, adding a primary key is extremely simple. Click on the primary key button. A new dialog box will appear. Click on the attribute you wish to make a primary key, phys ID, and it will appear in the columns in key box. Now just press the OK button. Notice that phys ID is now the primary key. Now let's go back and see our diagram screen. Click on the exit button. This time there will be no reminder to save the object. Remember, we are still in the primary key level screen. Let's add another attribute. You know the drill. Right click on the entity. Define. Change item. Stylize. Text settings. Colors. Cut. Copy. Delete. And again, choose Define. Let's add the attribute Fizz name. Once again, the default values will appear in the type and null fields. What if we don't want the data type char or we wish to allow null values? Fizz name. Char. No. Change them. Yes, I know that's dumb, but bear with me. Let's change the attribute fizz name to an integer. Yes, I know that's dumb, but bear with me. Click on the scroll bar button. Fizz name. Char. No, the list of all available data types will appear. Choose the one you want. Integer. Small integer. Which we would signify by entering 30 in the length field. Clicking on the null scroll bar will cause the possibilities to be displayed. At any rate, we want the attribute fizz name to be of data type char and of length 30, which we would signify by entering 30 in the length field. 30. Once again, after we have added our attribute, we need to add it to the list. As soon as we hit the add button, it will be added to the list. Let's go back to the diagram screen. Click Exit. Again, there will be no reminder to save. 
What if we want to add a constraint to an attribute? I have added a few more attributes. Notice that we are in attribute level mode. What if we want to add a constraint to an attribute? Define Change item Stylize Text settings Colors Cut Copy Delete Not a problem all we need to do is go back to the define menu, click on the check constraints tab. The complete list of attributes will appear. Click on the column Check Constraints scroll bar. The complete list of attributes will appear. Highlight the attribute you wish to put conditions on and click. Click the Add Slash Remove button. Add the condition. Now let's add the Entity Patient. Click on the Entity button. Put the entity wherever you want. Once again, the Label Entry dialog box will ask you to label the object. Patient. After that, click on the OK button. Make sure you first choose the select mode. Add patient attributes as we did before. Make sure you first choose the select mode. Notice also that I have expanded the entity folder. We're now ready to link the tables together. Choose the appropriate relationship from the menu bar. In our case, this is a one mandatory, to many, optional, relationship. After you click on the relationship button, simply connect the tables with your cursor. May a physician have zero patients? Another dialog box will appear asking you questions about the relationship. Treats. Treated by. May a physician have zero patients? Enter the name of the relationship from physician to patient. Enter the name of the relationship from patient to physician. Click the OK button. Have we? And we have set up a relationship between the tables. One nice feature about Visible Analyst is that it will analyze our diagram for us. Click on the Diagram Toolbar option. Symbols. Lines. Text. Construct. Change item. Split data flow. Modify view. Delete. Stylize. Connect. Snap symbols. Snap lines. Analyze. Click on the diagram toolbar option. Now click on the analyze option. Another menu will pop up with available options. Click the OK button. And, we appear to be OK. Keep in mind that Visible Analyst is more than just a diagramming tool. It also maintains our repository. Before going on, let's review what a repository does. A repository is a database for a project that contains information both captured from your diagrams and entered directly by you. It contains metadata that describes the organization's data and data processing resources. Provides information about what users must know what what automated case tools that are used to specify and develop information systems. All applications that access and manipulate data. The DBMS that maintain the repository and update system privileges, passwords, and other information. Now, getting back to our example. To check our repository, click on the repository toolbar option. Let's do a key analysis. We forgot to add our foreign key. The procedure for adding a foreign key is straightforward. Define Change item Stylize Text settings Colors Cut Copy Delete Right click on the entity And again, choose Define. One of the options on the Define item menu is foreign keys. The attribute will be added. First, click on the attribute you wish as a foreign key, Physician. Then click on the field you want to relate the foreign key with. The attribute will be added. Save it. And exit. Define. Divisions. Key analysis. 
Key synchronization. Model balancing. Report query. Syntax check. Generate database schema. Generate deeds. Generate code. Reports. Notice that our attribute level screen reflects the addition of the foreign key. Let's check our repository to make sure everything is OK. Pick key analysis. What is going on? There are actually a few problems. Remember how we defined our physician table and our patient table? We have a mismatch between physician phys ID and patient physician. Once again, click on repository. Define divisions key analysis key synchronization model balancing report query syntax check generate database schema generate deeds generate code reports another benefit of visible analyst is that it will correct these types of problems automatically once again click on repository now click on key synchronization the pop-up menu will give you some options. Click OK. You will be asked to save your synchronization. So, save it. Save this file too. Name it what you wish. Are we OK now? Let's check. Click on Key Analysis. Define. Divisions. Key Analysis. Key Synchronization. Model Balancing. Report query. Syntax check. Generate database schema. Generate deeds. Generate code. Reports. Are we OK now? Let's check. Click on key analysis. We appear to be OK. Let's once again take a look at our tables. First, our physician table. Next, our patient table. The issue has been resolved. I have added two more entities. You know how to do this? Let's add the associative entity treatment. Aside from clicking on the associative entity button, instead of the entity button, the procedure is the same. Next use the mouse to connect the entities. Then fill in the necessary information. First, let's relate patient and treatment. This is a mandatory, one to, optional, many relationship. Are we okay now? Let's check note that this is a warning not an error. Symbols. Lines. Text. Construct. Change item. Split data flow. Modify view. Delete. Stylize. Connect. Snap symbols. Snap lines. Analyze. Are we OK now? Let's check. Note that this is a warning not an error. But what about the repository? Define. Divisions. Key analysis. Key synchronization. Model balancing. Report query. Syntax check. Generate database schema. Generate deeds. Generate code. Reports. But what about the repository? Let's check that. Once again, we forgot our foreign keys. Go to the foreign keys option. Open the define menu. Right click on treatment. Go to the foreign keys option. First link patient and treatment. Choose the relationship. Then add the attribute. Move it to the link. Patient. This time, click on Migrate, Migrate. Key synchronization migrates primary keys across normalized relationships to make foreign keys in other entities. It also adds descriptive information about the relationship and the related entities to the repository. When you created the entity, the repository created an associator element name for it. Visible Analyst uses this information for key analysis and synchronization. Do the same thing for the other relationships. Select the relationship between treatment and prescription. Add the attribute. 
move it to the link. Migrate. Prescription. Do it again for the relationship between treatment and illness. Due to synchronization. Notice that a strange thing has happened. The attribute names have been changed to correspond with their labels in the tables they refer to. Due to synchronization. We could change them, or just leave them as is. Are we okay now? Let's check to find a vision's key analysis. Key synchronization. Model balancing. Report query. Syntax check. Generate database schema. Generate deeds. Generate code. Reports. Let's check. The only thing we haven't done is set up our unary relationship. But we know how to. Draw the relationship. Right click on physician. Choose define. Add the field supervisor. Set supervisor as a foreign key. And we're done. How do we open a different project? First, go to the file option. Now select the project. Let's choose project test. Then click OK. Choose, highlight, entity. Now open up the diagram. Let's open the driver's license CRD. Let's review the ERD. The Department of Motor Vehicles, DMV. Many individuals apply for licenses. As many evaluators. An applicant may take May road tests. The DMV may, must, issue many driver's licenses. Each evaluator gives many road tests. Let's look at some of visible analysts' other, ERD, options. We can establish database security. We can modify the balancing rules. We can modify the SQL dialect. But not with the student version. We can even generate the deeds. Data descriptor specification. Generate the SQL code needed. Create reports. Create report queries. But not with the student version. Question mark any questions?